Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Comic Book Club. I'm Alex. I'm B. And Justin is away, but we're going to do something a little different for you yeah. guys. And we are going to give you a review of the movie Zombie Land. Uh, we know it's been out for a couple of weeks, but we finally both saw it, uh, so we wanted to talk about it. Specifically, Pete wanted to talk about it. Yeah, I, I, made, I made him do this show. But what did you think? You love this movie, right? It has been a long time since I've paid money to see a movie and then clapped when the credits came up. I was just so happy with the movie as a whole, and I feel like the credits did an amazing job of setting the tone. Like, mm -hmm. okay, if you're not having fun here, get up and walk the F away, <laughs> because this movie is going to be all this and more. It was just so well done, so hilarious, dealing with the tension of, you know, end of the world with some fun and humor and great, amazing characters. Yeah. And the cameo in there, I don't want to spoil it in case you haven't seen it. I, I will say, can amazing. I say something about the cameo? Okay, so I had read on Twitter, a bunch of people said, don't spoil the cameo in Zombieland, it's so good. Yeah. And then another guy said something that was unfortunately like, I don't want to spoil the... Don't spoil ref it. I'm not going to. Very specific reference to type of cameo it was, enough so that I kind of figured out what it was, oh. which was annoying. Then, on the way over, the, one of the guys I was going with was like, hey, did you hear there's a great cameo? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't want to know, I don't want to know. He's like, ooh, what if it's, and it said exactly who the person oh was. Oh my god! Which was crazy. But, that cameo is so indicative of what the type of movie it is, that it's tough, without spoiling it, uh, to say that I, I guess if you've seen it, you know this. But it is a worthy air of the movie that it talks about in that type of caveat. Yeah. Does yeah. that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, okay. it definitely does. And it's just, it's nonstop fun. It is nonstop fun. There, yeah. There's the tension of a zombie movie. They, they don't, that's all still there. It's all the great things of a zombie movie. You know, and I just, it's fantastic. The double tap. You know, just... And Woody here's, Harrelson... Here's what I liked about it in particular. I liked that it used... It seemed like it could have been derivative of other movies. I was worried that it would feel like... Shaun of the Dead is yeah. so good, for yeah. example, that I felt like, oh, okay, why do you need to make another zombie comedy? I was wrong. It had a very different tone to it. Yeah, completely. Also, different. it had rules in it, which I felt like, uh, again, Scream already did that, but it did it in a nice way that worked very nicely with the movie and the structure with the movie. The things that I liked about it in particular, the script was very tight, very tightly written. The acting was a lot of fun and enjoyable. It had sweet moments as well. And I think the director did a great job as well. Yeah, it really... I think everybody came off well and everybody got their own moments, except for Abigail Breslin, who was just kind of there, personally. But. Well, yeah, but I liked her. I thought, you know, she was a great character. Like, sometimes I feel like just because you have a star, like, they have to have their moment. Screw that. You know, sacrifice something for a great film. Don't ruin a film just because you're an A-lister or whatever. You know what Abigail I mean? Abigail Breslin is an A-lister? Well, she's been in a bunch of stuff. Well, and every time I see her, I you know, I love her. She's great. You love her? Well, no. I mean, I, I love her wow. work. I think oh, she's a great actress. I mean, I know that you can quote Little Miss Sunshine by heart. I do know that. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. But I just, uh, come on, her dance sequence. Yeah. Oh, the other thing that I really liked, uh, this is another crazy thing to particularly point out about this movie, I guess. But I was kind of uber critical of the marketing because they have the tagline. The poster was just like this globe with zombie land and it said, nut up or shut up. Yeah. And I saw that and I was like, come on, you don't have any of the stars on there. What does this globe have to do with anything? Why are you saying not up for shut up instead of anything about zombies? And I was totally wrong. Yeah. Because yeah. every single one of those elements completely played into the movie very well and were essential. So yeah. great goes to the marketing department. As yeah. Well. Really did a great job of like not spoiling anything but giving you a little taste. But it was just one of those movies that like really was, you walked away from it and been yeah. like, thank you for everybody who signed up and all the work yeah. they did because... It made it worth it. It really Here, made Here's it what worth I think it. about it. And I think this is actually, this is going to sound like a slam, but I think it's the nicest thing that I can say about it. Uh, while I was sitting there and watching it, I was thinking, oh, I'm having fun. And the, at the end, I thought, oh, you know what? This is a little bit of a trifle. It's a little bit like, eh, it's light. But it was really enjoyable and well made throughout. If, yeah. I mean, I don't know what kind of, eh, it's light. No, it's, why can't a movie just be, hey, a fun kind of take on something? 
You know, why does it, it always... can't be? Well, that's why. Uh, I don't. That thing approved you wrong, sir. All right, you did. You did. <laughs> uh, you proved me wrong. Uh, let us know did. what you think about Zombieland. Comment in the section below. Uh, if you have a question, you can write us at comicbookclublive at gmail.com, popcultureshock.com slash comicbookclub, twitter.com slash comicbooklive, iTunes Comic Book Club Live, where you can download these very episodes, and Pete. New York City, Tuesday nights, 8 o'clock, People's Improv Theater. We'd love to see it at our live show. Comic Club approves the zombie. Ding. Two thumbs up. A comic book of original ratings. <laughs> <laughs>